Right, AI, that's quite cool and exciting. So we thought we would try some AI and see how we could use AI in our business to A, have some fun, B, design some products. And also, we found a bit of fun at the end. Um, we think maybe Ineos designed their new car, and we'll talk about that in another video, the Fusilier using AI. Or maybe if they didn't, they could have saved some money by using AI. Keep watching and we'll go through it. So this is just totally random. I just thought I'd do this. So I can put a link to this whole chat GBT session in the description and you can view everything. And this is all 100% as I generated it using chat GBT. Um, I paid $20. £20 a month, I think, to get the program where it will do the image generation for you. So we'll look at AI, what it got wrong, what it got right, and what it's going to do. And bear in mind, it's only going to get better. So I thought, create a picture of an Ineos Grenadier in a pie shop. Now, that's a little joke we've got going where the Ineos Grenadier was kind of overweight, really, and you couldn't carry a ton of payload. So it says, yeah, fine. And it does this picture. I'll put the picture on the screen. And I'm thinking, that is not an Ineos Grenadier. I don't even know what it is. It looks like some sort of hybrid discovery sport type thing. So I said, okay. And it gives you this little blurb here, parked outside a quaint pie shop. It went over and above what I asked it to do. But notice, um, I did say in a pie shop, and it's clearly not in a pie shop. It's outside of a pie shop. So keep watching. So I said, can you change the picture? to an Ineos Grenadier, and then it gets a bit leery with me. And it says, the image already features an Ineos Grenadier, Simon Pipe down, I think, well, not really. So I like the way this AI's got a bit of attitude and it's having a go at me. Um, and it says, parked outside additional trades, but as requested, if you're looking for further customization, let me know what you need. Okay, so I said, get an alternative image of a grenadier, hoping that it would leave the pie shop bit there. But then it's given me a car and it looks nothing like a grenadier. Again, it looks quite consistent to the other one, although it's clearly different. That looks very Discovery Sport. Or is it a Vokey Ben? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Anyway, and it's put it on top of a mountain this time, which is cool. We like four wheel drives on top of mountains. We like doing that. It's, so it's given me an alternative with a grenadier parked in a picturesque setting overlooking rolling hills and a there we go and a distant city skyline i even noticed that yeah right so i said change that picture to an ineos quartermaster because the quartermaster so clearly there's lots of pictures out there where maybe people have put mentioned grenadiers with other land rover models or something and the ai can't quite distinguish which is which and also some of the information was done over a year ago when it did its sort of scraping of the internet to compile its stuff so so it's got a little better you can see this is almost a pickup um it's got a little closer and it's put it in some hay field um of a wild untamed landscape sounds like my hair anyway right Okay, so uh, let's start again. So create a picture of an Ineos Quartermaster, because I think the Quartermaster, I think I've got it here, and this seems to be the thing with it. Oh, you have to sort of blinker it and send it, otherwise it, it is gonna create you something. So, right, of an Ineos Quartermaster, four by four inside a pie shop. And look at these, at least this time it did manage to get it in the pie shop rather than parked outside, but to me, that is looking very Land Rover Defender-y. So the Defender is now in a pie shop. But look at the graphics of the pie shop. And it does this like instantly. So someone somewhere must have a picture of a pie shop and it is a great looking pie shop. Change the picture to an Ineos and Quartermaster pickup. Now it's given me another pie shop. This is, this is not the same as those two. It's created yet another quaint pie shop and it's put a, Clearly a Defender pickup, not an Ineos pickup in. So it's still struggling with its identity of this. So I thought, let's just have some other fun. Let's create a picture of an Airfix kit for a Land Rover Defender. And it does that, although it looks, is that defender Ben Ben or that? No, that'll do, won't it? It's got a bit of a series grill on it, if you have a look. It's got, it's, has it got headlights in the grill? It's got like a quad headlight thing going on. But look how cool that is. It's got all the little bits, the instructions and... So I said, okay, that's cool. So let's create an Airfix kit for a Bedford CA camper. Although let's let's give up with this whole Ineos Land Rover thing. That's confusing it. 
And those of you that know, it's some sort of a thing, but it's not really a Bedford CA camper. It's close, but it's it's somewhat morphed. It looks quite Volkswagen y at mm. the side. Um, but there we go, it's done it. But I like the way it's done it, like in a vintage box, it's faded. It does look really cool. And how it dreamt up this image with another camper van and stuff is brilliant. I mean, this is all instantly done. I mean, it, it, you know, and maybe AI will give people ideas, if not give you exactly what you wanted. Right, so I thought, let's design a Lego model of an Ineos Quartermaster. So I'm back on the whole Quartermaster thing. And it has done what looks like a really cool Lego model. It's got some monster wheels. I like the off-road, the light bar and stuff. So I thought that's pretty cool. So I thought, oh, I need a Lego box. So let's look what it would look like with a Lego box. So I said, showing it next to a box. So it's gone pretty Land Rovery again, I think. I think the top one there was a bit quartermastery, but now it's gone, it's lost the pickupness at the back and it's gone back. But that is really cool. So you can design these, but you can see why people are worried about AI and fate. You could say, look, look, they've just launched a new Lego model and people will be scrambling to buy it when it's all just fake, effectively. It's all just completely created from nothing. And obviously it's using branding like Lego and stuff, which could mislead people. I said, let's create an image of an Airfix kit for the new 2024 Defender. So I thought, let me try and get it to get the new L663 Defender, nail it down. And yeah, it's got the old Defender. So it's it's got a thing for the old Defender, clearly. I reckon some old boy who says, that's not a real Defender, I has programmed it. So, but again, it's got a really cool Airfix kit. It's got the box and everything. And it's a diff, a Defender. It looks like I've typed it, doesn't it, Ben? <laughs> Judging by my YouTube title videos, I normally mistype those with two Fs and a, there we go, that was interesting. So you do have to be careful with AI. Do they put that in intentionally so you know it's like not real, don't know. Create an image of the James Bond edition Land Rover Defender. Now it clearly doesn't like that. It thinks there's some IP issue and it says it's content policy restrictions. So, so that's interesting, they've started to restrict it. And I think if you ask it to create a picture of a person doing something, a politician or something, it won't let you do that, which is good. They, Because those sort of deep fake videos and stuff, they're trying to stop you doing that. So let's say, design a new electric vehicle based on, right, a Mercedes G-Wagon, the Land Rover Defender, and a Jeep Compass, and the Suzuki Jimny. I said, look, just mash them all up, blend them, right? Now it comes up with this image here. But look, this is interesting. So if I compare that, I've done a picture, I'll just pull it up on the screen, of the new Grenadier Fusilier, the new Ineos Fusilier, sorry, and this, and look, I'll put them on the screen now, and look how similar they are. It's it's a bit scary. So the one on the left with the Mercedes symbol is the generated one, the one on the right is the Ineos's press picture of their new car. Mm, interesting. I said remove the logo and grill and it's changed the image completely to what looks very new Defender but quite sleek actually. It looks like it could be almost a, uh, a sort of basis for the new fully electric Defender that they've announced. So that was interesting. Um, so then, so I thought, well, that's a good idea. What would, let's get AI to design for me what the new electric Defender is going to look like. Okay, so they have announced they are going to build a fully electric Defender, which is really cool. Um, and this is what it's come up with. It is sort of futuristic looking. But I thought those wheels are a bit monstrous. Tame that down a bit. So I said, uh, make the wheels smaller and not so wide. So AI, in his wisdom, has created this. Now, I don't think those wheels are smaller. I don't. I don't think that they, they might be a little narrower, but interestingly, look, I mean, I gave it a clear instruction, you would think, and it's done this. So it, it seems like AI is having a bit of a laugh with me, which is, that's respected for that. Right then. So I said, right, let's see if it can design some car accessories for me. So one thing I want to do is design a new snorkel for the Freelander 2. So I said, right, design a snorkel for the Land Rover Freelander 2. And it comes up with this image. Now this image is awesome. Now bits of it might be Freelander 2 -y. What do you reckon, Ben? Uh, 
the front is disco sport in it and then the the side vent might be a bit but it looks really cool than that in itself now one idea i've noticed on here is the roof rack it's it comes down and rests on the windscreen and that's given me an idea for a, a product for the new defender there's a bit of the roof that's not used by the roof rack with some bolt holes we could come down and then put some pads onto the front top of the windscreen and create a sort of light bar mount using that so even in its sort of i guess it's just mashing pictures up and coming up with stuff but maybe that could give us ideas right then so i said create an advert for a new electric defender so this is the advert it's created the new defender looks pretty cool and it's power meets and which i guess we can work on the spelling a bit but again don't just let ii do your work for you without checking but it's it's quite cool um right then oh, i said okay looking at previous lottery numbers let's work on the theory that they're not gonna you know that you're not gonna rock the same numbers aren't gonna uh, happen again look at the, the numbers of least likely to come up that, that have come up less frequently and less so that I can use those numbers because they haven't come up. And it then goes on to lecture me about probabilities not based on how many times an event's happened in the past. Every time is unique and so it won't do it for me. And it set my thinking straight, which I sort of respect it for. So no, it's not gonna predict your lottery numbers for you. Okay, and then I said, design a G4 inspired conversion of the new Defender. I thought that was pretty cool. I think there's some good ideas in that. The graphics look pretty cool. So you can see what we've been using it for. And then I thought, well, let's design a spare wheel cover. Um, that's a little bit far-fetched and out there. Right, that's it. That's my bit of fun and introduction to AI. And I think AI is only going to get better. Um, you can see there are some mistakes and stuff there. But it can do some pretty cool stuff. So... Hope that's got you thinking. I'll put the link to ChatGPT if you want to go and have a go yourself. And I'll put the link, as I say, for that whole, because I can put this button here and create a whole link for this so you can download those images and do what you want with them. Um, there you go. Enjoy that.